and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I organize my folders for school. So basically what I do is I have one day folder which I take to school with me every day and that's got all of the current work that I need at school for all of my subjects. And then at home I have big, ooh, <laughs> I have big folders like this for all of my six subjects and that is where I store the majority of my work, all the work that I've already done for that year and I don't need to be lugging around school. So in this day folder that I take to school with me every day, it's actually quite empty at the moment because it is school holidays. So I have a section for each of my six subjects and then I also have a section at the front for any other information that I might be given at school and also at the front I have my timetable there so I can just open the folder and see where I'm going for my next class. And so in each of the little subject sections is just the current work for that day or week or however long I need to keep that work in the folder. So basically what I do is at school when I get worksheets or notes or something for a subject, I'll just put it in this section for that subject in this folder. And so when I get home at the end of the day, I will go through this folder and decide which sheets of paper I need to keep in there for the next day because I'm still using them in my classes. And the ones that I'm not going to be using at school again, so like a worksheet that is finished or a booklet of notes that we've finished or a test that I've got back, they will be taken out of this folder and then I will file them away in this folder. So let me tell you about these folders. I have one for every single subject. This is the one for maths. So basically when you open it, I'm not going to show you what's in it because everything kind of has my school name written all over it. But when you open it, you've got all of my tests and assignments that I had done this year. They're all in a little plastic sleeve file kind of thing at the front. And that is because it makes it super easy for me to file away all of my tests once I get them back. And my tests and assignments are the most important things to keep in a safe place because it's actually a requirement that we keep all of our tests and assignments from year 11 and 12, which I would do anyway. And then after that, again, I just have little dividers and each section is dedicated to a different topic. So the first section is topic one and I will have my class note booklet that we get given and then I'll have my worksheets and any other information I got given in class. And then I'll have the set of notes that I wrote for that topic. Oh, and I'll also have the practice tests that I did in that topic section and then I just have that in each section for each topic and then at the back of the folder after all the topics is all of my exam information so that's all of the past exams or the practice exams that I've done and that's all of the like if you're allowed a page of notes to take into the exam and any exam information just goes at the back of my folder because I don't need to access it very often only during exam season so yes, I just store it all at the back of the folder. So that is basically the system that I use to keep my folders organized. And I find that this system works really well for me because most of my friends actually have different files at school for all of their different subjects. And when they go to science, they take their science file, maths, they take their maths file. Whereas I just take this one file to all of my classes. And I find that easier because I'm a person who likes to store all of my work at home. Because when I'm studying at home, I often need something from one of my folders. And if they're all kept at school because I need them in class every day, then either I have to lug all six of these files home or I'm not going to have the information at home when I'm studying when I need it. So I prefer just to have a small file that I take to and from school and then organize and file all the rest of my information at home. And also I don't really see any point in taking all of the work I've done so far for a subject. Like all of the big heavy topic booklets and notes and worksheets from all of the topics to a class because I only need the current work. Like there's no point lugging around the past work to that class because I'm not going to use it. I'm only working on the current work in that class. The time that I'm going to need to look at the past work is at home when I'm studying and I need to refer to something or I need to be like recapping everything before exams. So I just think it's a bit of a waste of effort to kind of lug all your past topic information to your classes when you only need the current work that you're doing. So that is why I just keep my current work 
in my day folder and then file everything else away at home. And so that is how I personally organize my files for school, but everyone is different and everyone's going to have different ways of organizing things. But all you need to do is find a way that works for you. The aim of this video was just to help you and give you a possible method to try if you're not really sure how to organize your files. So I really hope this video helped you. Make sure to let me know if it did by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. I make heaps of studying and revision and like school related videos trying to help you guys get the best grades you possibly can. So subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any of those. And comment down below what your system is for filing your work at school because everyone has a different one and it's really interesting to hear everybody's different systems. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!